to that chilling bust in Mich Michigan. 13 suspects, members of a militia group now facing charges in an alleged plot to storm the state house, kidnap Governor Gretchen Whitmer and start a civil war. ABC's Alex Perez is in Lansing with this story. Alex, authorities say they've been watching the governor's home. Yeah, Cecilia, you know, good morning to you. Authorities say several of those arrested suspects were actually here at the Capitol before the pandemic protesting the state's lockdown. The FBI first started closely monitoring the plot back in March. Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer, the alleged target of a foiled kidnapping plot. Two militia groups who were preparing to kidnap and possibly kill me. This morning, these six men are facing federal charges, another seven facing state charges. The FBI and state police is seen here raiding the home of one of the suspects took action after they say the men, part of a group called the Wolverine Watchmen, met this week to exchange tactical gear and to pool their money to allegedly buy explosives. The alleged mission attacked the governor before election day. According to investigators, the planning was months in the making, and they say the men even allegedly going to the governor's vacation home twice to conduct surveillance. The suspects, police say, even planned to blow up a bridge and allegedly intended to hold Whitmer for a trial and then execute her. According to the FBI, the men were apparently angry because of Governor Whitmer's restrictions during the coronavirus pandemic. <laughs> Tensions have been high in Michigan, with militia members, some of them armed, at one point descending on the state house last spring, intimidating lawmakers. At the time, President Trump tweeted there was a need to liberate Michigan. And at the last presidential debate, instead of telling white supremacist groups like the Proud Boys to stand down, saying this. Who would you like me to condemn? Proud Boys. Proud Boys. Stand back and stand by. An angry Governor Whitmer calling out the president. Just last week, the president of the United States stood before the American people and refused to condemn white supremacists and hate groups. Overnight, the president again criticizing Whitmer on Twitter, saying she has done a terrible job. She locked down her state. Trump taking credit, tweeting in part, my Justice Department foiled a dangerous plot against the governor. Rather than say thank you, she calls me a white supremacist. Whitmer, open up your state. Authorities say the group also wanted to target police officers and launch a civil war. The plot foiled by authorities with help from undercover agents and informants inside the group. Cecilia? Just so disturbing. Okay, Alex, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.